Hey guys, Juno here from Market Movers. Today we're going to talk about some definitions you need to know if you invest in the stock market. So just before we start, we are not financial advisors. This is for entertainment purposes only. And please hit the like button, hit the notifications button and subscribe. Thanks very much and let's get straight into it. So guys, four very important ones. To buy, to sell, to bid and to ask. So buying is when you exchange your money for shares in a company and selling is when you sell your shares for money. And then when you put that with bid and ask, so your bid is what you were willing to pay for a share. So you can put in a bid of $40 and that's what you're willing to pay. And then if someone has an ask out for $40, that means they're willing to share to sell their share for 40 and you can, you can basically buy their sell and then they get their, your money and you get their share. So that is the first four. So that's buy, sell, bid and ask. So. Two other ones you probably heard a lot, bull market and bear market, bullish and bearish. So the best way to remember this, a bull market is when the market's expected to go up or when someone thinks that a company is going to go up in value. The best way to remember that is by a bull attacks up the way with its horns, so it attacks up, which means that bullish is going to go upwards and bearish attacks down. So a bear attacks down, which means that the market is expected to go down or if people expect the company or the crypto or whatever it is to go down the way. So that's bull market and bear market. Your limit order and your market order. So a limit order is what you should always do is where you set what you're willing to pay for your stock when you're buying it. So you could put in a limit order of $30 and that means that if that stock, op if the market opens and that stock goes up to $80, you will not buy it. But if you put in a market order, it will just buy no matter what at whatever price it is. So limit orders are very important to make sure that you don't get burnt by a very volatile stock. Volatile volatility, this is an important word to understand. This is a stock that, and this basically measures how quickly a stock goes up or down. So how quickly the stock moves depends on how volatile it is. If a stock is very volatile, it can usually be quite a dangerous investment. Two things you're gonna hear me and Sam talk about a lot is going along and averaging. So going along is basically what we do as long-term investors where we believe in a company long-term. So we try to buy it low, sell it high, and we expect this to be a long-term investment where it goes up and up and up. So that's going long in a company. And then averaging down, I mentioned this in the last video last week, so you could call this, if you're in America, cost dollar averaging, cost averaging in or averaging down. So basically, when you buy a company, let's just say you buy in a new company at $200 and you just put in, you know, you buy one share at $200 and then it goes down a bit to 190, you buy another one. So now your average per share is lower than your initial buy. And if you keep doing this, as it goes up and down, you will average out your price. And this is much better than putting all your money in at 200. Because if you could buy at 200, you could buy at 190, maybe 185, 195, and your average in and your price will be lower overall. So that's cost average, cost dollar averaging or averaging down. Market capitalization or market cap. This is something you'll hear a lot. This is how the market values your company. So the company that you're looking at will all have a market cap. For example, a very famous one is Apple with around 2.6 trillion at time of recording. So this is basically what the, what the market values your company at. And this is the amount of shares out in circulation multiplied by price per share. So that's your market cap and that's something you will hear a lot. IPO, which is initial public offering. So this is another one you probably hear quite a bit. And this is basically when a private company turns into a public company and they sell their shares out to the public market, which is an IPO. Uh, most famously, most recently, and most famously probably would be Coinbase recently IPO'd. They came onto the market in around three or 400 and uh, they went up a little bit and they dropped down. It's often a bad time as retail investors like, our, like ourselves to buy in at an IPO because there's all this hype around it, but people got there before you. Before that came onto the market for you, uh, people in the company, employees, other investors were able to buy in quite low, much lower than we would ever see. And then they could sell when it shoots up at the initial IPO. So that's something to keep an eye out. IPO, initial public offer. Blue chip stocks. So this is something you'll probably hear a little bit. These are big companies that pay dividends. So these are usually quite safe stocks to own like Microsoft. And this is basically, you would be able to buy into this company and you could you could assume that your money would be safe and that they would pay you dividends every quarter or every year. Dividends is something else you're going to hear a lot. So dividends is basically when a company splits its profits between shareholders. So for example, uh, you could get paid per share 50 cent 
one dollar whatever it might be you will get paid per share either per quarter or per year and this will come straight into your account uh, one of my best dividend companies at the moment is win resorts they are not paying dividends right now but they have been for years and they will be again once things open back up fully Hedge funds and mutual funds are funds that you can in, you can give your money to and they will invest your money for you um, and these basically work by investing in hundreds of different stocks for you with your money and it takes your work out of it. This also relates to an ETF which is very similar to a mutual fund except for you buy it more like a stock so you can buy shares in an ETF be it Vanguard, S&P 500 and uh, you can you would basically have ownership in hundreds of different companies so the S&P 500 is the top 500 companies in America and you'll be able to own a bit by buying shares in the Vanguard and this will give you a very wide range and they'll tend to get on average between 7 and 8 percent per year uh, which is a very safe way of investing your money and this can keep you you, know, you won't have to be in looking into companies all the time this is a very very easy way to do it if you don't want to put your time into picking individual stocks something you'll hear a lot as well is a broker so a broker is generally uh, someone that you pay to someone you pay to invest your money for you and they will take a fee out of the profits that they make you one of the most famous ones in ireland is probably davies and um, you'll hear of loads of other brokers if you just google them in new york there's loads and loads of them on wall street an exchange is basically where all the stocks are kept so you can buy and sell them and exchange them so two of the most famous ones would be the nasdaq and the new york stock exchange there's also different ones all around europe and places like that as well but most famously you'll hear of the new york stock exchange and the nasdaq another thing is a market execution so you would have seen this in my last video when i bought the ryanair share um, when i bought shares in ryanair a couple of minutes later i got an order execution this basically means that my order has been processed so my buy order or my sell order has gone through and you either have bought your shares and got them uh, or you sold your shares and received your money margin is something else you're going to hear a lot if you're looking at youtubers they often have margin accounts uh, so basically this is when you borrow money from your broker to invest and your margin is the difference between your security and the amount borrowed this can be quite a dangerous way of investing as if things go wrong you will have to make that margin call and pay sell off your shares to pay back your margin or to keep it in so this is uh, something you probably don't need to worry about right now but you could look into in the future if you're interested lastly this is an obvious one your portfolio this is just your collection of investments in one place so people have real estate portfolios crypto portfolios stock portfolios and this just keeps all your investments in one place another word you are going to hear a lot is your rally so when a stock or the stock market is rallying it means it's increasing quite fast and um, another two things then these are two very important ones the sector so a sector is the sector you invest in so this is a collection of companies that do the same thing so you can have your food sector your travel sector and uh, you can have your banking sector and these are areas that you could show interest in but it's important if you watch sam's last video to diversify between these sectors and he went into that in great detail and i'm going to link that above and then finally I mentioned this last time again another important thing that catches people off is ticker symbols and stock symbols so they're the same thing basically a shortened down version of the stock you're talking about so rather than saying the tattooed chef you might hear us sometimes say ttcf rather than saying win resorts limited you might hear us say win rather than saying coinbase we might say coin these are ticker symbols and every single company has a ticker symbol and you can look up that company on yahoo finance or on your broker apps uh, by just typing in the ticker symbol now guys i hope this was uh, helpful i hope that all makes sense i know there's a bit of mix and match i was trying to do it uh, just so that i cover all the most important things that you will hear on a day-to-day -day basis and you can go back through them and pick up different points uh, thank you very very much if you've gotten this far we really appreciate all the support so far if you're enjoying if you're enjoying our videos please hit the like button it really helps us a lot please subscribe and please share with your friends leave a comment if you don't mind we really really appreciate all the support so far and uh, we're looking forward to keep making these videos week in and week out thank you very much and stay safe